One of the questions I got asked multiple times in the last week's discussion boards was why in the world are they reporting shares outstanding on an income statement? What do the number of shares have to do with the income statement? The answer is nothing, absolutely nothing. The income statement basically takes you through revenue and then all the expenses and it gets you to net income. However, people report the number of shares so people can calculate the earnings per share. Now, why is that number important? It really isn't. It's, it's just another metric or a shorthand that when you say that Home Depot earned $11,242,000,000, that doesn't mean anything to me as a shareholder until you tell me how many shares are out there. Now, if I own a million shares out of the 1 billion shares that are out there, yeah, I got a pretty good idea of what proportion is mine, but I don't own a million shares. You know, if I own a hundred shares, I want to be able as an investor to just sort of look at that and say, well, for, for my handful of shares, how much of that, how much did I earn? Okay. And that's why if you take net income and divide it by the shares outstanding, you get the earnings per share. And that's just for the you know, mom and pop investor like you and me to go out there and, and get a better idea of what $11.2 billion means to me. One thing that we can see is that the number of shares at Home Depot have been dropping. They were that is the impact of buying back their own shares. When uh, we talked a little bit about treasury stock in the uh, other videos from last week. And again, that's a pretty advanced concept and I don't want y'all get lost in it, but companies buy back their own shares. And one reason to buy back your own shares is it makes your earnings per share look higher, does it not? If we had the same number of shares all throughout here, and then, oops, Yeah, it went up, but it didn't go up as much. But if the company buys back the shares of stock that it owns, all right, usually because they think it's underpriced, then it makes it look like the share price or the, the earnings per share is growing faster than it actually is. Lowe's has been doing the same thing, buying back shares of stock, but not as aggressively as our, our colleagues over at uh, at Home Depot, but the same thing would happen if you use to split that money up among the same number of shareholders, their earnings per share would be dramatically lower. Okay. So anyway, why do, why do companies put the shares, number of shares outstanding on their income statement? So mom and pop investors know how much income was earned per share they own. If I own a hundred shares, then I know that Home Depot earned 100 times 1029 with my money or right around, you know, $1,029. Got earned in, uh, the, the shares I own earned about $1,029.